Look at that drilling in real time, not sped up, putting this three quarter inch diameter or 19 millimeter diameter hole down through that thick plate. You're not gonna be able to do that with a handheld drill or even with a standard drill press. And that's the power of a magnetic drill with an annular cutter. Hey, welcome to the shop. Today I've partnered with Evolution Power Tools to bring you this video. You've probably seen me use some of their tools that I've purchased in the past and been really happy with them. And so a huge shout out to them for making this video possible. First of all, let's talk about what makes a magnetic drill press great, right? It's a basically a drill motor with a gearbox to make it spin at a low speed with high torque and it's attached to a really powerful electromagnet and the rack and pinion to be able to move it up and down. One of the really great things about this is it's set up to be able to use an annular cutter. Now, if you're not familiar with what an annular cutter is, it's this special type of bit, and this is a set that uh, Evolution Tools provides as well. And if you look, it doesn't cut the whole way through. You know, if you're using a standard twist drill bit, you have to remove all of the material out of that hole as chips, where with an annular cutter, you're just removing the outer perimeter, almost like a hole saw, but much more rigid, much more accurate, and uh, able to produce a high quality hole in a hurry, as you could just see. Now, if you do want to use a standard twist drill bit, you can put a drill chuck on a magnetic drill, and this one actually comes with one um, to install a regular twist drill, and that works really well too. And it also just gives you a lot of portability. A lot of times, parts are so big, you can't even take them to a drill press or it's just easier to take the drill press to the part than the other way around. So they're super useful for that. Now let's look at this particular one. This is their Evolution S28 magnetic drill. It has a one and one eighth inch or 28 millimeter maximum diameter for annular cutters. So this is their smaller drill. They also have a larger version uh, available if you need to drill larger holes. Now, inside the case that it comes with, you have a wide variety of things. Let's lay them out here and take a look at each one. There's the drill. You also have handles to install into it. A drill chuck to use those twist drill bits. A coolant system to provide some cutting fluid down while you're drilling, as well as a safety strap in case you've attached this magnetically to the side of a piece of metal and you want something to hold it in place in case you lose power um, and it, it falls off of there. If you do decide you're interested in this or any other Evolution Power Tools, you can use the discount code Tim Welds. That's something they've provided that'll save you a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and look at how we'd set this up. First of all, I just need to screw these handles in right here that are going to allow me to move this drill press up and down. Now this gives you quite a range of motion just with these handles, but actually if you look on the back side you can loosen this uh, lock screw here and slide the motor up and down an additional track and that gives you some range so you can have a lot of height if you're drilling with a standard twist drill bit and a chuck or you can move it down low into a lower range if you're drilling with an annular cutter. So that's a really nice feature to be able to move the height in those two ways. Let's start off by setting it up to drill a standard hole using a twist drill bit. So I'll just slide the drill chuck up inside here and then tighten two sets screws. This drill chuck as well as the annular cutters have two flats that are machined at 90 degree angles for those set screws to sit against and I want to cinch those down good and tight. Now once that chuck is installed I can go ahead and install my drill bit, tighten it down with the chuck key, then position everything and turn on the electromagnet followed by the motor and then go ahead and just drill down through. I'm using just a little bit of cutting fluid that I manually applied here for this twist drill bit and it is drilling through uh, really well. Now the speed for this uh, drill I believe is right around 400 RPM so it's a low speed for most twist drill bits which is going to be just fine. It'll just move a little bit slower than you uh, could if you were able to run at a higher speed. Um, that's because this is really optimized for use with those annular cutters. That being said, even drilling through this uh, steel plate with a smaller diameter, this is a quarter inch or six millimeter diameter bit, it goes through really pretty well and quickly and I know I'm going to have a nice straight hole coming out of it. 
Now let's switch over to use some annular cutters. In order to use those annular cutters, I'm going to uh, install them in the same way as the drill bit. Now each of these cutters has a little pin that's inside in the center. You need to have that. That serves two purposes. One, it allows you to line up the center of your hole with a mark or a scribe line, something like that. Also, there's a spring up inside of the drill that will press down to pop the slug that you get out uh, after you drill. So you need to have those pins in place. And with the annular cutter installed, I'm also going to add some coolant uh, to this uh, cutting fluid tank and attach it to the drill on the side right here and there's a valve that will regulate the flow of that so I can adjust how much fluid I'm getting. Then I'll go ahead and install the guard around the outside here for protection. Now I'll just line up my hole and drill my way through. That coolant is flowing down through the hose to keep everything lubricated and keep it from overheating and I am not having to apply a lot of force here to be able to cut down through and it's making it through pretty quickly here. I'm drilling a one inch or 25 millimeter diameter hole right now and when I finish up I'll go ahead and take a look at that hole and it came out really nice when I measured the diameter with my calipers it is really close to the exact size you know I'm within five thousandths of an inch which on a one inch hole is really good. Now I did notice that I got these big long chips or a whole bunch of swarf that came off of the drill and I am going to try to avoid that on this next attempt here. I'm going to go ahead and drill in more of a pecking drill motion where I'll drill down a ways then release and drill down some more so that I break those chips occasionally and that seems to be working really well. It seems to be pretty effective here getting through these holes. So this works really well uh, for all of those types of things. So let me give you the bottom line here. Uh, after trying this out, both with twist drills and with annular cutters, I haven't used a wide variety of magnetic drills to tell you how it stacks up, but it did the job really well. You know, being this smaller magnetic drill, I was concerned about power, but it has plenty of power to be able to cut right through uh, without a problem on this steel. I think that the adjustable height is a huge advantage to be able to adjust that in two different ways and I think it'll be really useful and you'll see it on upcoming projects here on the channel. Um, I'll continue to use it so you can see how it holds up over time. So once again, if it is something you are interested in, you can use that discount code Tim Welds uh, on the US or UK Evolution Power Tools sites and it also helps out the channel a little bit. So thanks for tuning in today. If you learned something or enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up below. We'll see you next time.